Hello everyone, this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you this type of creative photography manipulation that means uh, you are the fan of a bike or uh, you can make a wallpaper which is a creative and the fantasy type so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for this tutorial okay I'll show you these all the things step by step so let's start the tutorial I'm just closing this out so go to the file and just take a new options and take a canvas which is the thousand by thousand pixel and make the pixel 300 pixel per inch and after that go to the file and the place embedded options and here i download a stock image and i'll give you that stock download link in my video description so check it out and right press and the restylist layer and give the name bg bg for the background and then go to the file and go to the place embedded options again and here is a bike that is a motorcycle png file and i also give you that download link in my description so i'll replace this one in the proper place suppose here yeah this one is good and then right press and restylize this one again and bk bk for the bike and Take a new blank layer right press and create clipping mask and after that go to the shadow options and make it smaller like that and just give shadow here so lower portion so yeah that's good that means before and after and here as well so yeah that's good and now just go to the background layer and just select it and take a new blank layer go to the color options and pick color from here and make it this like this and hit the ok button and select once before that just make the opacity 100% and flow 100% select once press ctrl T and make it bigger like that and hit the tick button and make the blending mode to screen and for that I just add the light and if I didn't use that it will be more fake like that so if you need you can use another like shadow over here so you have to maintain it before that you have to down the opacity and flow as well so you can use that so now I'll use the shadow that means I'll add shadow in this photography so at first go to the brush again make the opacity up and the flow up and just select once make it 100% and 100% so select once you have to take a new blank layer and select once press. just make it smaller and make it like shadow type so you have to place it properly use the move tool for the placement and press the alter button and here you're getting another shadow yeah that's good and now I'll take another new layer and go to the brush options and I'll down the opacity and flow and then I'll just draw here for the shadow it will be like realistic so that's good so this portion you have to make the shadow and for that I'll go to the filter and the blur option and Gaussian blur and hit ok if you need you can adjust the opacity that's good and then go to the adjustment layer and the gradient and take the gradient the downside and hit the ok button I'll use this gradient and hit ok and adjust the light yeah that's good and now I'll use the light of the bike so here I downloaded a light beam so I'll rotate this one like that so make it smaller and reposition this one and hit the tick button make the blending mode into screen 
and just zoom it in and place this one in a proper place actually so make it smaller and so placement should be properly for that just make this one like yeah that's good that's good and select all the layers make it group and make it merge after merging this go to the filter nick collection and the color effects pro 4 so from here i'll apply another color effects that is i'm using the cross processing and here lots of method you can use one of them so i use this one or this one is good b02 and hit the ok button yeah that's fine it's done the bike manipulation so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i may see you signing out today and bye bye